Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of 10 Minutes With. Today we are interviewing Overland Exposure. Hi guys. Hello. What's your name? Aria. Aria. <laughs> the name is Aria, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Amanda. I'm Darren. And we do have two dogs as well with us at the moment. Ali and Juice. Ali and Juice, yeah. that's right. But they're not very good to interview. <laughs> we can show them after. All right, so where are you guys from? Uh, Newcastle area. Newcastle, yeah. New South Wales, Hunter Valley, kind of. Yeah. So, we're a long way from home. Bye, yeah. Aria. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been on the road? Five months. Five months. Yeah. yeah. Full-time, yeah. Full-time, five months. Yep, awesome. Well, you've got a pretty cool setup here that we'll have a bit of a, a look into. Uh, I guess a lot of people like to know, did you sell your house? Did you keep your house? Uh, we were renting, so it's just a matter of finalising a rental and uh -huh. selling as much of our stuff as we could. Yep. yep. And then whatever we couldn't sell or wanted to keep, we put into a storage shed back yep. in Newcastle area. Yep. yep. However, we did still own a we still own a home in Darwin that was already a rental so we weren't living in our own home okay we own a home but so it's staying as an investment yep yep great um so what made you decide to live and travel in a caravan um well we love travel we love travel we've always loved yeah. travel we sat down one day because we were not happy in our life basically and um we um so what, what is what is it that makes us out we both said travel so we said right how can we do travel with um with dogs his and, bark, a and a daughter and a daughter juice reliable to bark Cheers. <laughs> um and um yeah how can we do that and incorporate our business as well into it because we didn't want to like, give up our business either and Awesome. Have you had your van for long before you took off? Uh, well, kind of COVID happened, so we bought it just at the start. Yep. So we didn't pay COVID tax on stuff, which is lucky. Yeah. But um, just meant we were sort of sitting in the front yard, the truck and the caravan, until we sort of got it uh, asked for you to go. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> and so you do uh, photography? Yeah, so I'm a landscape photographer, so you look on our website, you find a photo you like and we sell it to you as a print for art, as art if you want. Ah, lovely. So, unframed or framed or whatever, yeah. Excellent, okay. So you've got um, your Do website you there on the on the truck and yeah. then your other business is your overland exposure, social media stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Travel, yeah. So that's the travel side, like how we travel with kids, how we travel with our dogs, where we go, with that adventure stuff. Um, no, I take photos road. as well, like mm -hmm. it yeah. comes into it as well. Yeah, so we, it's our niche. Yeah. <laughs> Where we go, if there's a photo capture, we film and talk about how we capture it and why, and so that gives the story behind that artwork and all that while we're traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Those memories for some people of those beautiful spots that they go to, and yeah, that's kind of what we do. Yep, excellent. Um, and Aria doesn't need to be homeschooled yet, so you're like me. Don't have to worry about that just yet, which is great. Yeah, One less thing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. In terms of school, when it when it's time, if we're still travelling, mm. um, we don't have a problem with that because yeah, we're a primary school teacher, so we I don't just know, incorporate we'll it into the day. It's <laughs> hard. Yeah. yeah. Parents teaching their own kids. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, we'll see how we go over that. Yep. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about school anything yet. We still do some preschool kind of activities with her so that if we do stop travelling when she's going to school, she's not missing out on some of that stuff. That's basics. Yep. Yeah. Um, what made you choose a truck? Uh, weights, really, and capability. So we looked at everything and looked at prices of second hand things. Like, we wanted to keep it to a relatively tight budget. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it, it's actually a budget vehicle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like we paid forty-one grand for, for our truck. Wow! Um, and we spent some more money fitting it out and stuff. Yep. But um, yeah, it's the same width and uh, length as a seventy-nine series Land Cruiser, so it fits in a normal car park. But it has diff locks and big thirty-seven-inch tires and 
no real weight limit, like five and a half ton weight limit for mm. the truck itself. So yeah, just it's a good all round vehicle. Mm, absolutely, and it meant that you were able to tow a nice big van. Yeah. It's a very big van with plenty of space. For you to live which is too big. yeah too big <laughs> yeah yeah look you just nothing's perfect everyone's got complete different sizes there's big rigs there's small rigs yeah this really depends what you want to do that's it so we just yeah we look pretty big but i mean the truck tows the caravan quite well the engine's a bit small for it um you guys have had more power than we do right in your truck but um yeah, it's the same width, it's the same height and width as the truck, the caravan, so just six foot mm. here and tows really nicely. Yeah, do you know offhand your fuel economy when you're towing? Yeah, towing it's about 22 litres per hundred. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Without towing? Uh, about 15. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so we're, um, the trucks are, well, it's all together we're a bit over 8 tonne GCM. So. Yep. It's not it's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're really set up off grid. It's um, something we're passionate about. Like, and we decided we wanted to spend some money to be comfortable off grid if we're living in our caravan full time. So, um, all the kids, the tribes. Um, yeah, so we've got basically 600 amp hours of lithiums in the truck, um, 760 watts of solar on the roof, a three and a half kilowatt inverter and a really cool inverter that takes um, about 150 amps while we're driving out of the truck alternator and pumps into the batteries. That's a set up by Safiri on the Gold Coast. That is heaps of Yeah, and of so amps. we just, um, we'll show you, but we can, we basically plug the caravan into the truck and the yep. caravan just thinks it's on mains power. Exactly, yep. Yeah. Because um, when we plug into mains power, we're getting 100 amps, so you're getting even more than that from your truck. Unreal. It is, yeah. So it's just like being plugged into 240. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, well, so the carrier just thinks it's on the power, which is good. Yeah. No. Um, water's our biggest limitation. So yeah. we've got only 200 litres of fresh in the caravan. And we've got about 70 in the truck. But I've got a ladder that I recently purchased as well. I've got to set up 150 litre ladder. Yep. Still have to set that up. So, so but set it up. Yeah, we'll, that, we'll do that be before like, we get to the cake. Yeah, yes, good idea. We should get like seven days worth of water out of that lot yeah. like not being too conservative yeah, yeah we can get longer if we have to yep so out. your van has two tanks does it two tanks yeah Yeah, right is there space to put more no nah, I mean, there's not really weight capacity not to put more. okay anyway. okay yeah. um and you could put more on the truck if you wanted yeah, i suppose like yeah yep yeah. yeah. awesome yeah. nice yeah. This is, is travelling with dogs, this yep. Is with dogs is. And they're wondering where the kids have gone. <laughs> Reese has taken the kids away and uh, thought he was helping, but I think he's actually made it worse. <laughs> the dogs freak out when Aria does go, so yep. with one of us, yeah. <laughs> All right. Protectors. Well, we might have a, a little bit of a look inside. Oh, I just yeah. settled. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Don't worry. More questions. Okay. So what do you think might be the hardest part of living on the road? The dogs. The dogs yeah. By the out, that's really, nothing, honestly, nothing else really compares to travel with our particular dogs. Like, some dogs are really crazy and easy. Some are really awesome. Ours are not. Ours are not. They're just, okay. they're both of them have anxiety issues and things like that. As you can hear, she's having a bit of a problem because he's now getting a cuddle. Things, yeah, no, so they just, they are the hardest part. Yeah. For sure. Um, but if you've got really crazy dogs, then I don't think it's a problem. You can still go to amazing places mm. and do amazing things. You just have to be flexible and organised. Yeah. But your dogs have to be easy going. And if you want to go to national parks, what do you generally do? Dog sitters. Dog sitters, yep. dog kennels, even um. Like it's only like a an hour walk or something in a national park, like it's a small one, we'll just... We'll leave them in the truck, truck yep. with the window open, some water and stuff, yep. make it's not too hot, things like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Even like taking them to a grooming place where they've gotten a bath and they'll clip and stay there for the day while we've ducked in. Oh, out, true. Know, so. I suppose you can yeah. do that and probably um, yeah, similar yeah. cost to yeah. getting a sitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so there's definitely ways around it for sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just whether they're, they're settled kind of dogs. Yeah. And now to a, a challenge. Yeah. And then Aria. Aria can be difficult, but 
That's any child. That's anywhere. Any, any yeah, child. look, and, and three-year-olds are difficult anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't make any difference, Sonny, that you haven't got a bedroom to go separate yourself here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to my room. Yeah. <laughs> and what would you think is the best bit about this lifestyle? I think spending heaps of time with family. So, yeah. Yeah. You do spend all day, every day. With the day. quality <laughs> time. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think I have a very different relationship with my daughter than a lot of dads would have with their three-year-old daughter. Absolutely, so. yeah, I would 100% agree with that. And I think being able to explore and just be somewhere different with your family all the time is yeah. just awesome. We just love going to new places and like hanging yeah. out in cool places and yeah, just, doing cool things. I'm just experiencing that as a family, like yeah. you just don't get to do that mm. unless you do this lifestyle. So. So good. <laughs> Not have to go to work every day. <laughs> you know, getting up, doing the doing the process of get up, breakfast, dress, organize, get drop the kids off, go to work, come home, do the reverse, like yeah, hobbies, like you know, all that sort of stuff. And, yep. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, it's awesome. All right, shall we have a look inside this van? Let's do it. So this is a retreat Fraser Fraser uh, that you've purchased secondhand. It's a 2017 model. Beautiful. Let's go in. in. So we've got a queen bed at the front with lots of storage. A nice, really big L shaped lounge. Now, this big monitor here is for you doing your editing and work. Yeah, for our YouTube and photography editing. It's our little workstation. Yep. <laughs> um, and then we have a nice big kitchen. We have a coffee machine. It's a full coffee machine that stays there all the time. And I know that is talked about a lot. Yes. In the travelling world. So, um, Lots of kitchen space. You've got yeah. a full oven. Yes. Do you use it much? I actually use it quite a bit. Ah, However, cool. if I was to get another van, I don't think I'd include it. Sure. So it's one of those yeah, things. it's as controversial. Much as I use it, I use it because it's there. Mm. But I think I'd be fine without it too. <laughs> the so the coffee machine runs off your lithium system. Yep. Without an issue. So you've got a hack here. This is my one of my lovely hacks. This is a magnetic knife block. Normally they say to put it on the wall, but we've put it above because we didn't have enough wall space. Yeah. And it's awesome. Um, we love it. We haven't had a single thing fall down and we use it for tongs as well. So huh? not, doesn't, doesn't That's a great idea. Nice. I oh, really like that. It's so easy to get to everything. Grab your yep. tongs and they're there. Check yep. out the window if he's cooking outside. Really good thing. idea. Yeah, good. And you've got fruit hanging up. Yes. My little fruit storage. You've got a uh, Dometic compressor fridge there. Yep. And double, double bunks. One is for Aria up the top and she sleeps at this end. So her head's at this end because she's only this long. And then all of her storage of her toys and not all of it. There's a toy box and a book box and a couple of other things. Yep. Um, she actually has two of each box and I store the others underneath. And we, every month I switch out. Good idea. Toys. So she's got a whole new box yeah. of things to look at. Then we've got our dogs. So we've got a crate each. Um, one for each. And they don't have a specific one. They switch and swap. But they always have one each. They don't share. Yep. They don't like sharing. Um, and then Ari's outdoor toys are yep. kind of all on top there, so she That's... can easily just come and grab them and take them outside. And the dogs sleep in here overnight. Yeah, in there overnight time, and says safe space as well. Yeah. So, um, and when you're travelling, they're in the car? Yes, they're in the car, yep. in harnesses. We've got a, um, I can show you that. Oh, in the car. It is a truck. In the truck. <laughs> all right, so you've got a little front loader. Yeah, Dometic 3, 4 kilo, can't quite remember. Um, there's a load of each of our washing in there. Um, and I love it. I love being able to do my own washing on the road wherever I am. Mm. As long as I've got water, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yep. Power was not an issue. So, um, yeah, as long as there's water. <laughs> yes. Water. Uh, but yeah, so love it. And then um, nice big bathroom as well. Nice big shower. Mm. Um, Lovely. Just love it. And then I'll try and get out of your way. Big, big basin. Space for the toilet and basin. A nice storage cupboard underneath as well. And then... Your tower racks. A couple of tower racks. Um, we've added a fusion lock one out there for Aria so she can reach it and draw herself off. I like independence. Yes, <laughs> that's good. So, um, and our concertina door. I was a bit unsure about the concertina. Um, I heard they break really easily, but we haven't had an issue at all. Um, I feel like the quality's improved. 
Um, and so yeah, each night I put Ari to bed and then we close it off and then Ari, um, Daniel and I can keep working. And, yeah, and the light and, doesn't affect it. Yeah, because yeah. she is a light sleeper. So yep. being able to close that off mm, um, is... That's yeah. perfect. Really good. Excellent. Good. Life for us, really. Beautiful. I love your little mat then. Yeah, mat. Um, we did have it drawn on, but it keeps like wiping off. Uh, like, disappearing, of course, you'll so need a permanent one or we something. We need to find a different pen. Yeah. yeah cause I've tried about four different ones. Well, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for coming and checking out our space.